Welcome back to Daytime. Thanks for joining us. We're in the kitchen now. We're joined by Mag DeWilk and Heritage House Dentals having this awesome Victorian Christmas celebration. It's coming like next week and it's going to be super awesome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, it's actually coming this weekend, this weekend, December 3rd from noon till 4 o'clock. We have this amazing uh, Victorian Christmas celebration. It's our second annual Victorian Christmas celebration. I would like to invo invite all viewers to join us for, uh, for Christmas carols, Santa Claus pictures. Cool. Um, we're going to have lots of fun, so please join us this weekend at the Heritage House Dental. Awesome. Just a few days away, <laughs> and Magda, I see that we have some uh, baking tools here with us and ingredients, so That's we're about right. to do some Victorian baking. That's right. We're going to make uh, lavender and uh, water rose Victorian cookies. Uh, it's an old recipe from the Victorian era. Uh, Wanda was favored by the Queen. And one of the reasons why it was so popular is due to the uh, secret ingredient, which is the lavender. Oh, really? Mm. You can smell that. Oh, my gosh. Did you it ever smells think great. It's like one of my perfumes. Like exactly. Yeah. Did you ever think that lavender can be uh. used in the kitchen? Well, I didn't. No, I always I no thought idea. about it as an oil, something that calms your body. But um, I recently found out mm. that lavender was uh, used in baking and it actually um, has this amazing aroma and it has a really nice flavor. Really? Yes. So oh, I never what order that. do we put this in? I'm horrible at baking and I don't know how to start this. <laughs> okay, I know so it's kind of like chemistry. So, so we're going to we mix uh, one and a half cups of flour and um, actually we're going to start with the butter and the sugar. The butter and the sugar. Okay. Yeah, the goodies. Okay, so I got the sugar here. <laughs> yeah. I can dump the sugar in. The whole you can thing? dump the sugar, yes. The whole thing oh that's a lot of sugar. Yes, that's a this lot what of Bridget puts in her coffee. I know. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, it's the holiday season, so uh, oh, my diet should A little out bit of sugar in the, uh, yeah, during the holidays. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is mix this. Mix that all together? Mix that all together until it's. Um, until the mixture is nice and soft. The sugar blends in with the. Do you mind if I try? I've never used one of these before. No, oh go ahead. Gosh. Have fun. Okay, so what do I do? Um, we, should, we should probably stand back line. if Andrew's doing yeah. this, so be careful. And do this. <laughs> so, something interesting. During the Victorian era, um, a lot of kitchen gadgets were invented. Actually, um, they didn't have a lot of this stuff back then. And if you can think of a potato peeler or a cheese grater or even a cookie cutter, all these things were invented during the Victoria era. Um, it goes as far back as the early 1900s. Exactly. Um, so Victorian cooking was very simple. It was hands-on cooking. Um, the cooks in the privileged houses were spending a lot of time putting meals together because everything done, was done by hand. So that's why they were starting to make some inventions. Even the stove was invented during the Victorian era. Yes. How am I doing so now? this is good. This is perfect. We can, no, 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 you don't want to go this way. So we're going to add two eggs and we'll keep going. Awesome. I guess maybe that was a little loud. Right, <laughs> it was a little loud, yes. But So the eggs okay. are going in now. We only need two. And we made a little mess. Well, when, yes. you, when you bring Two out eggs? when okay. you bring out a, a beater here, it's going to make a little noise. Yeah. Okay. So keep that on low speed there. It's one. And good. we How's can fun? slowly add the flour. So you can keep going as okay. I add the flour. You add the flour. So back in that era, you'd have to do this all by hand. Really? So we are really lucky to have the gadgets <laughs> that we have today. Okay, let's just talk about how you would do this by hand. Yes. Uh, I mean, you would really you would, just use your hands. You would actually, what do you call that? Oh, the, the, yes. Big Can we not just dive yes. in there with our hands and kind of mash it all up? You could. Go ahead, Bridget. Uh, but it's I on don't you. want to. <laughs> Go ahead, Bridget. I think I like this era better. Yeah, for definitely. The <laughs> definitely a lot more convenient. Yeah, so we got to keep mixing okay. this stuff. Or else it's going to get bad. Exactly. This is why I'm not good at baking. And I have to add the rest of this. Is that the flour? Yes, this is the flour. We add a pinch of salt maybe quarter of a teaspoon and we have already added two tablespoons of the baking powder okay. to the uh, flour. It's getting thick. It's getting thick. Yeah, it's getting and really thick. And now we have to add the lavender, the oh, main yeah. ingredient. We can't forget the lavender. No, the lavender goes in there. That's, That's your secret weapon. Oh, see how good it smells now because that lavender was added? I, I th am I screwing it up? No, actually okay. you're still okay. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. 
Is there I anything else yeah. we need to add? No, the rest is for the icing, which is the rose water. Look at that. And okay, there that. is a little trick to that. How, what is the trick? Oh, reverse. Okay, so this is done. Okay, we can get rid of this. It awesome. smells like a festive there's candle. There's the finished product right there. It does smell like a festive yeah. candle. It's like okay. a, the lavender is really nice. Absolutely, it smells awesome. Look at that there. Mm. There it is. So that's pretty much complete now. And what's the next step? So we're going to spoon it um, onto our baking sheet. Okay. Bridge, you can spoon it. Let's try to do that. So just, yeah, make. In little, some sort of shape or? No, actually, it's going to shape itself. So three, okay. maybe six rows. Okay. So some of the interesting um, uh, uh, cooking ideas from the from the era of mm -hmm. the Victorians, uh, they they really like the Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, you know that mm. one. Oh yeah, that's and Purdue, um, of course, biscuits. Mm. And um, Bridge is doing a good job. Yeah, she's she's doing <laughs> great. I, I was yeah. actually waiting for a sarcastic comment. And there, <laughs> uh, there it was. No, you're doing no. good. I was I was being sarcastic. That's really good. So, well, I thank you, guys. You can find this recipe on our website, oh, which really? is heritagehousedental.ca. Excellent. Um, and uh, there is also a video production from the last year's um, Heritage um, House Christmas celebration. From the Victorian Christmas celebration, so you can yeah. go there and see awesome. the whatever we did last year. Wonderful. But well, also, this recipe will be there, and you can um, just use it. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I think uh, we have, we have this a finished will, product, don't yeah. we? Yeah. We we will put this in the oven <laughs> okay, let's put at this in 375. The oven. 375. For 10 minutes. Okay. And Bridget and has the finished and product. Then, well and then done, this folks. is what you get. <laughs> so but, this is what we get. Yeah, but so this is not. This is not everything. Well, we still have to make well, the icing. Well, to find out more on the icing and the cookies as well, it's <sighs> taking place this December 3rd, 12 to 4. It's the Victorian Christmas celebration. Magda, thank you so much for coming. I'm sorry we were in such a hurry, but we we'll can see spend you tomorrow. all day in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Good. We'll see you tomorrow in <laughs> daytime. Tomorrow. Thank you.